This video covers severe combined immunodeficiency, SEID. There will be some questions at the end. Severe combined immunodeficiency is both B and T cell disorder. It has several types, defective IL-2 are gamma chain, most common X-linked recessive. Adenosine deaminase deficiency, autosomal recessive. RAG mutation leading to VDJ recombination defect. Patients with severe combined immunodeficiency tend to have failure to thrive, GI problems like chronic diarrhea, lung issues, oral thrush, and other infections. Recurrent viral, bacterial, fungal, and protozoal infections. Infants with severe combined immunodeficiency, SCID, are often referred to as bubble babies. Findings of SIDAR, decreased T-cell receptor excision circles, TREX, part of newborn screening for SID. Absence of thymic shadow, CXR. Germinal centers, lymph node biopsy, and cells, flow cytometry. Remember that SID is both B and T cells disorder, so it's extremely to get infections. Please review the notes in the first aid book. Now, let's try the questions. A six-month-old male infant presents to the pediatrician with a history of recurrent bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. The child has also failed to thrive and has chronic diarrhea. The pediatrician suspects a deficiency of which of the following enzymes? A. ADA. B. IgA. C. IgE. D. IL2R. E. Reg. The answer is A. ADA. Explanation. The clinical features in the case, including recurrent infections, failure to thrive, and chronic diarrhea are suggestive of severe combined immunodeficiency. The most common type of SID is due to a defect in the IL-2R gamma chain. However, other causes include RAG mutations leading to VDJ recombination defects and adenosine deaminase deficiency. The latter is an autosomal recessive disorder that leads to accumulation of toxic metabolites and apoptosis of lymphocytes, leading to SID. Therefore, the correct answer is ADA. Let's try this easy one. Which of the following tests is most commonly used to screen newborns for severe combined immunodeficiency? A. Chest X-ray. B. Lymph node biopsy. C. Trek A. D. Flow cytometry. E. PCR. The answer is, C. Trek A. Severe combined immunodeficiency is a group of inherited disorders characterized by a deficiency of T lymphocytes and impaired cellular and humoral immunity. SID can be diagnosed by various methods, including chest X-ray, lymph node biopsy, flow cytometry, and PCR. However, the most commonly used test for newborn screening for SID is the T-cell receptor excision circle, TREC, assay, which measures the number of TREKs present in the blood. TREKs are formed during T-cell development, and their levels are significantly reduced in SID. Therefore, the correct answer is C, TREK assay. A two-year-old male child presents with recurrent infections, a history of thrush, and an absent thymic shadow on chest X-ray. Laboratory tests show normal calcium levels and no evidence of congenital heart defects. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. X-linked agammaglobulinemia. B. Chronic granulomatous disease. C. D. George syndrome. D. Severe combined immunodeficiency. E. Common variable immunodeficiency. D. Viscott-Haldrich syndrome. The answer is D. Severe combined immunodeficiency. The clinical features in the case, including recurrent infections, thrush, and an absent thymic shadow on chest X-ray, are suggestive of severe combined immunodeficiency. The absence of hypocalcemia and congenital heart defects make D. George syndrome less likely. Other possible causes of immunodeficiency such as X-linked hemoglobulinemia and Viscott-Haldrich syndrome, can be ruled out based on the presence of T-cell dysfunction in SID. Therefore, the most likely diagnosis in this case is D, severe combined immunodeficiency. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.